What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your AMD GPU drivers. But before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself, bottom right, bottom left, bottom right, bottom left, let's do bottom right for now. And uh, we're gonna go to the amd.com website. Easy enough. We're gonna choose resources and support and go to drivers. Now, if you want to download the specific driver, you're gonna to need to know what graphics card you have specifically. So you would go to Radeon RX 5000 series and then 5600 XT, for example, right? Um, if you don't know what graphics driver you need, you just download the Windows drivers here and that will automatically find out whether you have a uh, AMD graphics card or uh, if you only see AMD and then the little like uh, trademark sign, chances are you have Ryzen uh, graphics in your CPU. So this will actually detect what you have on your system and uh, install the correct drivers automatically. This is the method I uh, recommend to do. So we're gonna go ahead and download drivers that way. And then we're gonna open up the software and choose yes. And the installer will start. It's gonna check your uh, PC's hardware and figure out what uh, drivers it's going to need, what graphics card you have. Um, if you have an AMD CPU as well that might need drivers, it's going to download all of that right away. All right, so it's found that I have the AMD RX 5700 XT and it recommends an install upgrade because I have the older drivers, but there's a new set of drivers available. If we go to additional options, we can choose what type of install we'd like to do, whether the full install, minimal install, or driver only. I recommend the full install so that you get the AMD software or AMD Adrenaline software so you can update your drivers right from inside the app. Um, but uh, otherwise, you can just choose driver only if you'd like, and then you choose where you'd like it to be installed. If you've been having uh, issues installing this uh, in the past, you might wanna change this to AMD2 or a new directory, and that can sometimes fix the issues. Additionally, if you've been having issues on previous drivers, you can choose a factory reset, which will actually delete the old drivers and uh, clear out all your old user settings and start you out fresh. But we don't need to do that in this one, so we're gonna go ahead and choose next. You can also choose some telemetry options here, so if you don't wanna send data, you can turn that off and choose next. Then you can choose if you want to install AMD Privacy View. Privacy View uh, enables eye tracking so that it'll actually make the rest of the screen dark and whatever you're looking at, it will lighten up so you can actually see what's in that area as shown in this little preview here. Um, so if you want that, you can install it by choosing install. Otherwise you choose do not install, skip, and we can continue. Now it's letting us know which drivers are available. And as you can see, it's not just the graphics driver. We need the power plant, the GPIO driver, the PSP driver, the SM bus driver, and uh, the PCI device driver. So we're gonna leave all of those checked and choose install. And that's it. It's gonna go through the installation process and install AMD Adrenaline for you to use. And uh, from that point forward, you can use the actual AMD Adrenaline software to update your drivers. And I'll make another video on how to do that. Now remember, your screen will flash as it's installing the new drivers. That's because it has to turn off your graphics driver, which powers your monitors, and then install the new one, and then turn it back on. So it will flash, don't freak out, give it some time and it'll come back and you'll be good to go. All right, so after a bunch of crazy resolution changes and screen flashes later, it looks like the installer is complete and now we can simply restart the machine and uh, check if it's good. Let's try it out. All right, once the computer restarts, bottom left, we can click on the bottom right hand menu here and open up AMD Adrenaline or the AMD software as they call it now. And if we look in the top right corner, we can see that now it says current version is up to date. And it just did a check just as we're uh, saying that, so that's even better. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, have a good one. Down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh Mike the Tech, the architect, huh Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect, huh